In the year 1891, in a town far north in Norway, electrical streetlights are lit for the first time ever in Europe. To illuminate the town, a nearby hydro power plant generated around 75 kilowatts. Today, we would need a power plant like that for every 15th household. Our need for electricity has increased dramatically and is something we now take for granted. Fortunately, more than 100 years ago, scientists were able to predict this development and they started building the Water Power Laboratory at one of NTNU's precursors. During the construction of Solbergfoss power plant, the laboratory was used diligently to test turbines. This research led to an unparalleled increase in turbine efficiency and is one of the main reasons why Norway became a world leader in hydropower technology. But reducing energy consumption is just as important as increasing efficiency. In the 1950s, Norway's fishing industry was booming. The refrigeration researchers at NTNU and Sintef took on the challenging task of finding a way to store the fish in the most economical and environmental way. Thanks to their research, seafood has become one of Norway's most lucrative exports. The Snøvit gas field in the Barents Sea was discovered in the 1980s. Eventually, our researchers cracked the LNG code that made the field profitable to develop. We believe that the revenue from Snøvit will be several hundred billion Norwegian kroner. And thanks to our research, a million tons of CO2 is stored each year at the project. But technological development also has its consequences. The world is facing major problems and we want to be in the vanguard of the green transition. Our research on carbon capture and storage contributes to achieving the two degree climate target. In 2017, the Water Power Laboratory turns 100 years old. This and our other laboratories are essential for turning ideas into applied technology. Our research spans widely, but our goal has always been the same. To fulfill humanity's needs for energy in order to live a good life.